Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on a Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today we're going to make these efavormart.com um, glass beaded dupes. Now, they're retails for $8.74 each, but we are going to make some for a whopping dollar and 25 cents each yes a dollar and 25 cents each so if you want to see how we recreate this dupe then just continue to watch so for this diy you're going to need a few things you're going to need a glass um plate i got mine from the dollar tree and it is a 10 inch plate but you can get them from walmart at 12 inches as well and you can have the exact match now you're going to need some strong adhesive i got this strong adhesive because i seen one of our um hispanic sisters using it so i wanted to give it a try i like it because it dries really fast um or you can use some e6000 or either any other strong adhesive but i would not recommend using hot glue on this project you're going to need some beads um i'm using the gold because i have the silver but you can use silver, you can use white, you can use iridescent. eFavorMarkets.com comes in rose gold, gold, silver, and clear. I do have an affiliate mark um, link for them. So I will leave that down in the description box where you can get 15% off your purchase. But I'm going to try and use a little bit of hot glue to go along with this DIY for right now. But like I said, I recommend only using um, a strong adhesive for this. So you're going to take your bees outside and you're going to either Mod Podge them or you're going to spray them with Mod Podge. I recommend the spray with Mod Podge because it doesn't leave a heavy residue like the um, paste Mod Podge. So I recommend the um, spray over the paste. So after you do that, they're going to dry, you're going to bring them back in, and you're going to start the process. Now, you're also going to use a, um, ugh, I forgot what the name of the tool is, I'm sorry guys, um, for when at the end if you need to scrape off some of the glue. Okay, now eFavorMart.com has individual bees on their charger. And you can do that because, and, but it will take a long time. I am going to place a few on this charger to show you how you know you can use it. You can do it with the individual bees, but for the purpose of our video, we are going to do a continuous strand because I really don't see that much of a difference with the strand. So you're going to do half of the charger at a time because you're going to need to have one part of it to dry fully before you start the next side so here i am showing you the um uh, individual way like e farm e favorite.com have it now this glue reminds me of the 357 or the quick grip because it um secures really fast it it cures faster than the e6000 the bees just set up there real quick and all I have to do is let it sit there for probably two or three seconds and it gets really really tacky and it's a really really strong glue the smell is a little bit stronger than E6000 so please use it in a well ventilated area but here I am showing you that you can use the individual bees to do this project um, and it will turn out just as good as the continuous one but like I said, for the purpose of this video, we're going to use one continuous strand. So it's going to take one and a half or one and a quarter um, bees for this project for each plate. That's the 10 inch plate. If you use 12 inch plate, um, you probably use all two strands on each one of them. But when you get the Dollar Tree uh, bees, there's four gold bees and there's four silver bees in it. So you can make two chargers per color um, off of each um, set of beads that you buy from the Dollar Tree and so you're just going to continue to put them on and like I said you're going to do one whole side of it of the charger plate then you're going to set it off to the side 
and let it dry and you, while that's drying you can use um, the other go ahead and make another one of the chargers now here I'm just putting some hot glue on it like I said for the purpose of the video so it can stick faster now guys if you're not a part of our family go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell and so you never miss an upload hit that like button please hit the like button and share our video sharing is the way we're going to get our um, channel up to where we want it to be so but like I said with this with this strong adhesive I really don't recommend the um, hot glue because when the hot glue dries it it doesn't dry as far as um, holding the bees it just dries in a clump and you could just lift it lift the bees right off of it so like I said I don't recommend hot glue for this project only a strong adhesive um, put the bees on one side of the charger plate set it off to the side to dry while you go ahead on to a second one and then my time you do maybe four of them you can go back to the first one and um, start on the next side of it so like I'm showing you the if you use the paste you're going to get that thick probably thick residue on them on your bees and you really don't want that so you will have to cut some of the beading off now this is one continuous strand right there and then this is how much you're going to use from a second strand of um, beads so it's not even really half it's not really even a quarter um, but I just said one dollar and 25 cents but you probably can get um, maybe three out of each colors to the two so um, after this you're just going to let your uh, charger dry and you will see that I'm showing you right here that the glue is like really really um, hard to and you could you know bounce it the charger off on the floor or you know I'm just showing you that it's strong and it's not going to come apart on you guys so here it is here's the completed charger and I'm going to show you in a little bit uh, all the different ways that you can use this charger um, on your table but like I said this one is a 10 inch Efaver Mars is a 12 inch um, but like I said you can get the clear 12 inch or clear 13 inch plates to do this DIY and the charger would be um, as big as you want it but right now I just have the 10 inch one so um, I'm going to show you again how easy how quick that was to dry and it didn't take me long at all for that first one to dry and for me to bring the one back that this is the one that we started together so as you can see um, the bees have dried enough where I can continue to go I'm going to take the individual bees off and I'm going to go ahead and finish off with the um, continuous strand so you can see how far that strand will take you now um, like I said just leave the glue on for just a tack a little bit and then um, place your bees on them so that the glue can get a little bit tacky so I'm going to be quiet and just let you look at the finish me finishing this project and then I'll be back to show you how you can stage it So here I am finishing the project 
and here it is all completed and I'm showing you now that you can use the exacto knife to um, clean up any glue that you have around it and it will easily come off um, so you don't have to worry about the glue being up there and it doesn't look really appealing so after you do that after I do that I'm going to show you guys how I stage it in different ways um, so first off I am going to use um, stuff that I had from last fall or the Mother's Day tape escape but this is it this on that was on a white regular plate using it on the top now this is using the Dollar Tree um, plastic um, mirror effect trays I mean plates as a uh, using it as a charger and as you can see you can see the gold sticking out really well. um, 